Okay. All righty. We put the filter in and closed the grill. And as you can see now, our magnahelic gauge has jumped up to 0.32 on just the return side alone. Okay. There's my probe. Remind you, remind you that this is in a twist transition because this elbow that exists is a side by side. So they've configured it with a twist transition to fit the over and under unit here. I'm going to insert my supply probe and we'll see what we've got now. And there we go. We got uh, a 0.6, almost 0.7. It's jumping. A little turbulence there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the actual side-by-side -side elbow itself. Over here I've drilled a hole on each side of the side-by-side -side elbow. So one one side's return, one side's supply. So here we go. We're going to pop the pop the gauge into the into the elbow right here a little man, a little difficult to get it through. All right, that's one. No appreciable change. I'm going to put the camera down for just a second. Bear with me. And we will pop the probe into the other side of the elbow and see if it's really the duct work or if it's the twist transition that's making the difference. Right now, I've taken the supply probe out. You can see we're still the same on our return duct with that filter in place downstairs at .32, same as we were. I'm going to go to my supply side on the duct work itself. Okay, lo and behold, it's dropped just a little bit to a point six. So that twist really has, isn't adding a lot to the actual back pressure in the ductwork. So we can su suspect down there in the ductwork itself, perhaps poor design might be the uh, reason we're above a point two on the supply side. Uh, we may have a piece of insulation torn loose down in there and uh, drilling a little bit bigger hole and looking at it with a scope might be a good idea. Take a look at the duct work from the closest register. If you can see up into the trunk and see if anything's come loose in there, you might have a shot at pulling this unit and fixing it uh, or getting down inside that elbow and, uh, and pulling it out and getting it pulled away. But this unit ate a compressor a year ago on a 2001 unit and my feeling if you look at it, it traces back to high static and working it really, really hard trying to get enough airflow through the coil. The coil isn't all that clean either, so those, those, those two things can cause refrigerant flood back. They have, have, have a serious amount of problems with the, with the unit performance as this man's experiencing.